kick off the premier series of Australian Geographic Adventures, we're going to be giving away this amazing adventure kit, which we hope will inspire you to get out and explore this incredible country of ours. This majestic 2015 Sierra Off-Road Extreme comes complete with air conditioning, gas heated hot water system, a rear on -tweet, and you even get a Kamek top loader washing machine. And it's got 15 inch alloy wheels, it's got simplicity suspension, it's got a really good Austral chassis and very good water storage capacity too. Now as if that's not enough, this prize even includes this Stabicraft 1650 Fisher with Mercury outboard, Laram's Electronics and Transstyle Trailer. To be in the running, just text your full name and details to 19 95 2010. So if you have any questions, all terms and conditions can be found on this website. So get busy folks, because this amazing prize pack is going to make for some awesome adventures. Earlier in the show, I travelled to Lady Elliot Island and came face to face with the biggest turtle I've ever seen. But now, it's time to learn a little more about the smallest of these creatures. Above the waterline, Lady Elliot is a compact, unpretentious 41-room eco-resort, which strives to provide guests with a genuine ecotourism experience, specialising in renewable and sustainable technologies. One of the really special things about Lady Elliot Island being so remote and right out here on the edge of the reef is that it's the perfect breeding ground for turtles. And if you get here between October and March, you might just get lucky and get to see some babies hatching. Hey Jim, have you got one? Or as a guest, you're welcome to join Environmental Officer Jim Buck as he collects data and monitors the movements of each season's hatchlings. Jim's been coming to islands like Lady Elliot for almost 30 years and dedicating his free time to educating guests and staff on how to gather this important breeding data. Yeah, so this little guy looks like he's been caught underneath the coral. Hey, do you want to just oh, hang on to that, Carol? So precious. Just put one finger on the top and one on the bottom. How old is this little man? Um, he's probably a couple of days, probably oh. about four or five days. This is such an amazing, special moment. Check him out. And we've got a second one here as well. He's so just tiny, but he's quite strong. Like, he's, re he's ready. He's eager to go. So if you want to hold that one as well, okay. just a thing on the top and the bottom. <gasps> there's more, there's more, there's more coming. So there's a, a third one there as well. I don't like to hold these little guys. We, we shouldn't be holding them. So what we'll do is we'll release them down into the water. OK. Um, they must run from the top of the dune. OK, so we've got to let them run. We must let them run. Off you go. <laughs> The beauty of this work is that anybody can do it. But be prepared because these turtle nests only hatch once the sun has set. And the turtles themselves have waited until the perfect moment to start their journey. So it's been about three hours and the temperature's dropped a little bit. It's a little bit chillier. So I reckon it's gonna happen any minute. There are up to 200 nests on the island this year. And this nest contained 130 eggs. Wow. Here they go, guys. <laughs> All the hatchlings claw their way out of the sand at the same time. Oh, look, here comes one. Here comes the first one. Making a frantic dash to the ocean. Good luck, little guys. Have a great life. Big adventure. <laughs> it's moments like this that are bound to make the Lady Elliot Island experience stay with you forever. They quite literally just running down the beach and a couple have gone straight over my feet, hitting, oh, there's another one, hitting the ocean and that's that. That was amazing. They all came down the beach and just the whole nest just erupted and there was hundreds of them. In about three minutes, they're all gone, off on their journey. Coming up next, oh, she's so soft. Releasing bilbies back into the wild 